Hi, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the aftermath of the holidays, probably? <laughs> yes. So ever since I can remember, we've always made a video uh, right around Christmas, just kind of sharing uh, the things that we attained. And last last couple of years, the main thing I have asked for from my family and whatnot uh, was clothing, uh, which I really didn't really feel comfortable showcasing, which um, is mostly on me, <laughs> honestly, to t just to be completely polarizingly honest, which is not this much that big of a thing, but in my head it kind of is. For a while now, I really like, like, clothing and style, specifically. Um, I don't know why, <laughs> uh, I've always kind of liked it, but it's always been the kind of thing where I'm like, neat, but I haven't really ever really got into, and as I get older and, and start giving less of a fuck, <laughs> um, I've got more and more into it. Um, now, that does not mean I am particularly good at picking uh, things, clothing, matching, etc. I have the style that I really like, um, and like the fashion things that I enjoy, uh, and etc. Now, I will say that when I say I enjoy fashion or style or stuff like that, I am super, super in the other direction of, uh, of like the hipster craziness, loud colors and all those things, I, I like symmetry, I guess. I like, uh, like equaling out certain skin pigments to body shape to, uh, the way, the way you smile, the way a clothing and, and a beard can highlight your face and, and a style of hair and all these kinds of things. Um, so... Yes, that's the thing I kind of like, and again, the things I like are not really loud, so if that is your that is your style or preferred clothing, then this is not going to be for you, <laughs> but um, alas, I don't know, I thought, uh, I thought it's high time that I just kind of bite this in the bullet, because it's something that I, I truly do enjoy, um, and again, ah, I talked about it on stream, but it's like this weird gnomer, like misnomer, where I used to always like fashion, uh, or not, not fashion, that's a, like, style, I like, is a better word, way of saying, because again, fashion, when I say that, I think a lot of people think of, like, the most extreme craziness, walking down a runway looking like a psychopath, <laughs> just like, why, this is the most impractical thing ever, um, where, uh, when I think of style, I think of, like, what you enjoy, and what you think looks nice and symmetrical, or, or maybe not symmetrical, maybe it offsets just perfectly, or whatever. But regardless, uh, just to give you guys some context why this is kind of like a, <laughs> thing for me, um, is when I was back in school, um, what do you call it, whenever I used to show interest or used to give my thoughts on, like, style from one of my friends, one of my female friends, whatever, um, it used to always be, like, kind of like, what is that? That's, that's, for lack of a better word, gay. <laughs> um, and I was always like, oh, I mean, the right thing to do is say, fuck y'all, I enjoy this. But when you're an introverted kid with few friends, you kind of try to play nice. Uh, not with homophobics, they were not homophobic people, they were just, <laughs> they were just maybe ignorant or whatever. But anyways, regardless. Um, yeah, it was one of those things where I kind of associated it with that, which isn't fair, I don't think. Um, but it's just where my head is, and I kind of still have those shitty precursors in the back of my mind. Um, and I'm doing my best to, uh, to push past them, or just, it, they, you grow out of shit like that, which is nice. Uh, and again, the more you go grow older, the less of a fuck you kind of give, which is nice. Uh, I'm only 22, can't wait for a couple more years, and I'm cl closer to death. <laughs> Anyways, regardless, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, I'm going to show you guys, uh, the clothing that I got. Again, you may find zero enjoyment in what I choose, styles may differ, all that stuff. Also, I just got out of the shower, so if I look sweaty, it's because I have really hot showers. And yeah. Okay. All right. So starting off with uh, with my with something my brother got me, which is kind of a meme, but also sure. <laughs> Why not? Oh, it shrunk a little bit in the damn damn wash. Oh, it's kind of tight, but it's fine. It'll, I'll work through it. Check that out, baby. <laughs> Mob Psycho, one hundred percent. It's a bit it's a bit loud for me. I'll be honest, but it's it's good. It's good for me. It's not. Uh, well, it is. <laughs> it's good to get out of your comfort zone. It's not so good to, to you know, not like colors as much as I do. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I think it's nice, especially it offsets. Also, uh, one of the things that you guys cannot really see, because it's, you know, a bit of a shit show with the whole lighting, because, again, my light is still burnt out, so you're just getting the monitors and everything, which is kind of nice. It blacks out the horrible mess in my room. But anyways, regardless. Uh, one of the things that I really, really wanted for a long time is... Sounds kind of weird, but red, dark-ass red pants. Uh, the reason why is because I have a lot of black shirts, um, and I also primarily wear these fantastic pants. I know people are in love with jeans and shit, which is good, but my life changed when I found out that pants could actually stretch, and they weren't just, like, 
fused onto your legs and you have to like waddle to walk. It's a fucking amazing. They have super stretch. I can like do a high kick in these sh and shit. Also, red pants, baby. Uh, the reason why uh, I have one of these red pants is because essentially um, I wear a lot of black <laughs> um, and if I wear my black pants that I love to, to pieces, it gets kind of finicky because uh, you end up basically just looking like you're going to a funeral or something terrible uh, and you just kind of bland. Whereas if you have like nice blood wine uh, pants, I feel like it can offset the whole thing. I'm blurry, <laughs> but it's fine. You get the point. It like, it offsets the black with this nice red. Also, it looks way more red because of lighting. Uh, but yeah, I am sweating so fucking much, my dude. It's not that I'm nervous. It's just that after I get out of the shower, I just need to lay there like a pancake <laughs> and just let my body de- de yuck <laughs> uh, But yeah, no, I, I like this a lot. It's a bit tight around the shoulders, but then again, that's most things because I've got like wide back tricep things. So this part is really a bit much, <laughs> but uh, it's still good. Again, it's tight here, but this doesn't move, which is nice. There's a couple shirts that are like, the fabric that they're made of is not very malleable. So when I do this, it's like the whole shirt moves. Whereas this, it kind of stays stationary, which is nice. Um, also, I got this one, this one bastardized hair <laughs> that's just fighting me, <laughs> tooth and nail. But yeah, I'm gonna keep these pants on for a while because there's a lot of, there's a lot of dark clothing because what do you want from me? I got dark features and it complements my skin tone and all these things. Uh, I stay away from bright colors because again, one of the things I, I take note of in like uh, fashion or style is that uh, your pigment of your skin ma matters um, th th everything. Like the yeah, whiteness of your teeth to a certain degree, your eye color, your, uh, uh, you would either shape again, like whatever shape you are, you should try to fit into something properly fitted, etc. Or if you're on the heavier side, then go ahead and find something with a style choice that does that and complements that as well. Complements curves and all that. Yes. Yes. <laughs> all right. Okay. Now this is getting into the deep end <laughs> for me. Uh, so you may have been able to put it together. I'm not the biggest fan of like bright colors, but I still don't want to look utterly boring. <laughs> so this is getting into the, the sketchy zone for me. <laughs> also, most of these clothes are just from like Old Navy and all that. <laughs> so it's not like we're shopping at some sort of fashion not nonsense. Poor women, also, who have to spend like hundreds of dollars on things that are just a lot. Now, I want to point out something immediately. Unless I do this, you guys see my nips, <laughs> which is no bueno, okay? <laughs> but I will say, um, I just got many um, of these kinds of shirts, so like the same prefects of the shirt, the material, the, the kind of design. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. It's kind of like a like a rougher kind of look. It's not like super, super soft, or, or it like looks like it has some sort of texture, I guess is the word, way to say it. But I will say, I like this a lot. It doesn't move. Like uh, when I'm doing this, the fabric doesn't fight me, which is nice. So I got mo mobility. It's got good stretch. It fits properly. The back, I think, looks good. I can't see it for shit. I'm hoping it doesn't look like the worst thing, <laughs> but um, yes, fits properly. The only thing that's slightly negative is, um, again, if I were to like uh, pull this down to where like it's it's like that, um, and I walk forward, you can kind of see a little out outline of my nips. And I'm not a fan of that. Just being honest, it's not great. If my if I, again, there's been many times <laughs> where I went uh, shopping with a, a slew of people, uh, dudes as well, and I'm like, listen, man, I'm just gonna be real with you. You got some, you got some moves showing, and I don't want this for you, okay? I don't want you to have to, to have this awkward, like, eye contact with another man or a woman, whatever it is. You don't need this in your life. But there is a way to offset this, which is, again, just making sure you can move. And then there's, like, the way it wrinkles, it, it, like, does that. The bad news is this doesn't really hug the bottom part well, or at least this shirt. Maybe it's because I stretched it in a certain way. I don't know, but man, it's great. You got crazy wind span. It's, it's perfect. I love it. Next one. Again, this is a lot of color. Also, I probably wouldn't wear this green with this dark ass red. Eh. Doesn't look the worst. Doesn't look the worst. I think. I think the black would be much better. Yeah. I think the black would go well. Cool. Next thing. Am I like dissolved into the background? Yeah, a little. <laughs> a little bit. All right, guys. We all need home sweet home at some point. And this is most definitely it. <laughs> okay for me. There we go. Home sweet home. <laughs> Perfect. This, uh, th these are like one of my favorite types of style of shirt just because of the way it kind of, for most people, holds their, their back to shoulder ratio. It makes uh, everything seem like, how do I put it, like more symmetrical and round. So yeah, it's almost like this 
the way it's formed almost makes you look slimmer, which for some people is not great. <laughs> but, yeah, no, I love it. Yeah, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of these kinds of clothes. I wear a lot of them. Um, I like that this is darker gray. I have one that's kind of like a dark ass sleeve with a, like a little bit of white. Which, by the way, the reason why I also stay away from the white color in general is because the camera plays terribly with white light. So, like, for instance, I have sweat sheen on my face. It's no bueno for the light. <laughs> the camera chews that up and spits out in a horrible way. Um, but yes, this one I think is also wonderful. The audio is atrocious. I apologize <laughs> greatly. But yes, the, uh, I think everything's good on that front. Again, again, like the way it holds. Uh, the, the, luckily, the sleeves didn't shrink. I was worried about that. Got kind of a weird wingspan. Yeah. But, see, this is like a very dark shirt, right? So if I wear dark pants, well, this is actually exception. This is the exception to the rule because this is kind of like a medium kind of gray. Whereas this, on this, you, I think it would be fine. You, you, I would look less like I'm going to a funeral and doing something like I'm like goth or something. But this, we fight the goth just a little bit. The blood may actually contribute to goth. I never thought about this in this way, <laughs> but it might. <laughs> Anyways, regardless, I think it looks pretty nice and the, the red offsets the, the black and doesn't make it just look so moody and down and depressing and whatnot. We also got a little bit more than clothes. Um, we got lots of this. I drink this sometimes. I have like, my family gets this for me, for me a lot. <laughs> um, I've recently cut back on them this year. And, uh, I have, like, they're starting to stack up. <laughs> so, uh, I, I still like them. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, clothing. Yeah, fuck, we're gonna change the pants out. Don't you look at me. Oh, my, oh, my. Yeah, these ones work a little bit better for fighting the whole goth uh, conundrum. These ones are these nice blue pants. Again, um, I wear dark, <laughs> just black pants. So I wanted some other colors so that they could look less depressing and goth. Kind of fighting that norm a little bit. But these are blue pants. See? Less harsh with the red, but still think it changes things up a little. Also, they're way more blue when you get fucking closer. God, I don't want to change angles, so that's the best we got. I don't think this will work. <laughs> this will not work together, but who knows? <laughs> Maybe. Okay. All right. Man, I honestly, this like dark kind of blood wine red shit, A grade. I don't think it looks bad on mostly anybody. Because, <laughs> yeah, to the way it like, it has shadows applied to it. So, so good. And again, it fills out your body. It's great. It fits properly. And it, it's snug in the right places. That was the battle, by the way. I need to go take a drink of water. Because I'm gonna I'm passing out because of sweat loss. Listen, my dudes, you're not supposed to run a marathon after you have a hot shower, okay? Honestly, maybe. Yeah, that could actually be a thing. We're finding new ways to burn calories and all that stuff every day. So who knows? Could be a thing. Regardless, um, yeah, for the longest time, I was kind of talking to you guys about this in like trying to grins. But um, it's really hard to find shirts that are fitted, um, and I, I, it's, it's weird because every shirt when you go to like a large starts doing this, which, which is fair because, you know, that's kind of the byproduct, but it would be nice to have a shirt that just does this instead of doing that, you know? Um, and I get the premise, you know, but I, like not every large person is large because they have a gut, they're large because they're exercising their back or chest or whatever, and that puffs out <laughs> and you end up with that. Um, so finally... Uh, I'm so happy with these shirts because they are fitted. They don't, they don't do that thing where they... And if it is, it's stretchy. So it could do that, which is perfect. <laughs> so you could basically kill bird, two birds with one stone. Uh, which this one is, like, the material is incredibly stretchy. So if you did have a belly, you just pull it forward and then be fine. Also, if you happen to have, uh, have any sort of gut, I would highly suggest this red. Because again, um, it, it, like, it, it creates shadows in a really nice way. And, and holds shape without being, without, like holding too much shape basically it like washes away sh shape around your stomach i find and chest but keeps shape around your your uh, upper part because that's where light's hitting because it is this kind of like dark red that gets it's like a blood wine so whenever light hits the you see it in detail and when you go lower like for instance here here or here anything that casts a shadow it kind of just quiets that down which i think is good for people who have any sort of uh, curve that they don't particularly enjoy Yes, yes. Oh, I'm getting real warm. I'm <laughs> sweating like a nasty bastard. <laughs> oh, and also we're off to go uh, to go take uh, to do Christmas dinner. Despite our Christmas was on Christmas Eve, because we got a big family and we got to make things work. It's a bit complicated, but we get it done. <laughs> good, good. 
but yes, sorry. Uh, yes, this is this is probably one of my favorites. Uh, again, love this kind of weird red color. It's like blood wine or whatever you want to call it. It's great. It fits perfectly. It's snug. Again, on the camera, it's it like intensifies color a little, so it looks way more red than it is. It's more of like a darker tone in real life, which looks great. Also, I don't think I would necessarily... Yeah, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't couple it with the blue pants. Most definitely the black pants. Again, we may just be inadvertently going for like style of vampire, which honestly, I'm fine with. I already got like large canines like that. We're fucking cooking with gasoline. Also, here's my my slut mug <laughs> because <laughs> I'm sorry. It's, it wasn't funny. <laughs> it, maybe it was me. I don't know. Regardless, next and last. But certainly not least, the black shirt. Cause of course I'm doubling down on what I like. Actually, it's very, it's like the darkest shade of blue <laughs> that's imaginable. But also, this by far is the best uh, feeling shirt that I got this year, which I am so, so pleased with because it is, oh yeah, it fits, it feels, it hugs you in a great way, it's stretchy as well, it's also malleable, so if like, if it's, if it's snug a little too much, you can just pop it out and it will stick that, like, hold a little bit, because it's a touch tight on my arms, but this one, I kind of look like I'm going after Steve Job look, but no, but no, it's not, again, this is like black on black, but this is what I would wear with maybe blue pants to offset some shit. So we're not just looking like one whole, you know, negative <laughs> color. But you know, this one by far uh, fits perfectly, which is funny because um, the, the person who got it for me is my lovely parents. Um, and they actually, we have like a, a thing with our shop where we can do embroidery. So we have to order shirts. And uh, one of the like big distributors that we order from uh, has this. And it's cool that like, what do you call it? it? It's basically, it's just nice that we got a good shirt like really good shirt in bulk like this like yeah <laughs> it's just really cool that you can find kind of something like that in house um but yes it's it's so it's so good it's so so good again i'm not sure the camera angles are not doing anything good <laughs> i'm sure but yes but yes also it's long as shit it's one of those ones that can go down like past your pockets like all the way down here if you want I like it a lot. It's a stretchy shirt. It fits. It fits really well. It moves. Again, we can do the thing where I can move my arms without like the whole shirt moving. In fact, we're missing. We're missing a shirt. I'll go find it. And unfortunately, I cannot find it <laughs> anywhere. The one that's like the buttons. Yeah, I don't know what I did with it, but it looked good too. <laughs> yeah, it sucks because it was one of the ones I wanted to show you guys by what I mean by when you do this. It's like this doesn't move. This this part is like sewn in a way. That keeps everything together like like your arms can move freely without this being affected like but the one i had the one i was going to show you but i lost basically whenever you move essentially when if i were to move my hands like like up it would do this it would like stretch the fabric as i'm pulling this way because it's real tight here and doesn't have any room to stretch in the middle but since this is a really stretch of fab fabric we're good to go okay um regardless uh, i do have one more thing that i actually really do enjoy uh, my grandma has an impeccable style as well as my grandpa who maybe has some process in it as well <laughs> uh, in gift buying and whatnot regardless um, impeccable style they, they were one of the people who got me the red pants which was lovely fits properly thank you grandma by the way regardless <laughs> um, yes this is something that's like bread and butter you work at the rigs slash uh, railway slash whatever <laughs> it's iconic Canada kind of garb uh, and it's warm which your boy doesn't actually have that many warm clothing <laughs> so it works out rather nicely but yes yes this fits fits well not like you don't get you don't get crazy stretch <laughs> it's a bit tight people who uh, who wear this don't typically need to touch their toes or reach very high <laughs> so yeah but uh, no, I like this a lot. Again, it's really warm. It's one of those fleece kind of things, which is nice. I think it fits properly. Hopefully, it does. I don't know why, but whenever I wear anything, it like, it goes in a way that doesn't make sense. <laughs> so like this is like, I'm trying to be classy when most of the time these are just worn as like a quick throw on thing. And you always see the guy at like Wendy's sitting there with like just a, a very overworked expression on his face. Uh, waiting for his sandwich and he gets and he just leaves quietly. It's always that kind of weathered soul <laughs> that wears these, but it's warm as shit and is, again, something I greatly associate with Canada. This weird weirdo shirt, sweater, jacket, thing, flannel, yes. Oh yes, Grin, yeah, you know, you're talking about how you're roasting alive, but let's put on the, a really hot piece of thing, yeah, so you can sweat in your clothes 
God, I gotta go to a thing tonight. My hair's all fucked because I sweated like crazy. Yippee. <laughs> Yay. But yes, I don't think I'd ever go. There we go. It's much better. Just a little open. There we go. Also, I produce crazy amounts of heat from my chest, so it all works out. Regardless, ladies and gentlemen, oh, I need to take this off. I need to take this off. I'm panicking. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh. <laughs> Regardless, my family has impeccable taste as well as every year we've we've gotten to this place because <laughs> every year like three years in a row now i've been asking for clothes and some are hit or miss and i feel like it passively they all know they're starting to narrow in on what my idea of what i like in style is which is not an excessive amount of color i'm not trying to be loud here i'm trying to be classy if anything <laughs> i know it's weird i associate loudness with maybe not as class <laughs> but it is what it is uh but yes no i also like shirts that that fit you like like Again, uh, I say it quite a bit, and I have said it in the past to uh, friends and whatnot, but I, I like things that hold your shape. And that sounds kind of weird to some people, but it, it's true. Everyone has a kind of a shape, even if, like, regardless of what stage of body weight or whatever you're at, there's things that can complement that uh, thing and, and hold you in a, in a nice way and, and make you look slimmer, uh, wider back and chest, uh, bigger ass, <laughs> whatever you want. Um, yes. Hi, ladies and gentlemen, me here in post and or in editing. Okay, so essentially there are a couple of clothes that I do not have access to right now because they're being washed. But I do because the day of Christmas uh, night, uh, I was like, let's make a video showcasing these clothes. I think the dopest shit. I'm also trying them on for the first time and seeing what's up. Uh, but then I was like, oh, uh, this was a whole day of socializing and I'm an introvert and I'm tired as hell. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, God, help me. <laughs> so instead, I was like, let's make the video tomorrow. So that's why I have this weird clip of me just like silently walking around. Basically, I was using audacity like a mirror. Anywho, regardless, I did not or I neglected to show you one other shirt. Well, actually two, but I don't have access to that one because I didn't start recording until... I stopped and it was a whole thing. Regardless, regardless. Uh, here is the other shirt that I got. This one's a bit iffy because it's a bit white slash beige. Like, it's weird skin to pigment. Although I do think it looks nice because, again, a lot of the pants that I have are these nice kind of like black dress stretchy pants. So it should offset that quite nicely. Also, again, it's it's made of the same material that a lot of the shirts I have. All the same kind of prefects. So it fits and holds the body really, really well. Uh, but yes, that is about it. Oh, also... One little tangent, one of the things you guys will know uh, is that I'm not a big, tremendous fan of, uh, what do you call it, uh, like a decal on the chest. You know what I mean? Like a, a giant emblem. I kind of go for the classy, uh, at least that's what I would determine it to be, a kind of a classy, simplified look. Like I don't want this giant emblem in the middle of my chest with, with like basically being an advertisement for some other company kind of thing. Also, uh, again, the, just the whole shape and holding shape is it's when you have a decal in the middle of the, the chest or whatever, whatever, it kind of draws that in, which I don't want. I kind of want the focus to be on like the back, the, the wideness of your shoulders, the slimness of your waist and things like that. Uh, but anywho, that's about it. Thank you so much for your time. Me, uh, from just a minute ago, take it away once again. Oh, also, wait, 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 one more thing. I also have this sweater. I thought it looked really nice, especially in combination with this black kind of offsets and makes it look uh, more intense. The green pop a little bit more, but also, which is the dopest fuck sweater. It's super thin. Uh, it's made of a nice uh, soft material. Good, good shit. Anyways, moving on. As of other things, I got this uh, fucking giant Toblerone. So, yeah, <laughs> that's, yeah. Mm -hmm. As well as beard oil. Beard oil, there you go. Lighting is, is the worst. And a beard comb. It's a nice beard comb. Make sure your shit's all in order. There we go. And do 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 keeping your shit all in order. <laughs> Good. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you kindly for your time. This has been a lovely holiday again. Um, oh, also, one of the things I didn't I can't show you, <laughs> but um, you know those like uh, punching bags? It's like a it's called a uh, bob. Um, it's it's like everyone has them. They're always on like Kijiji or something for like incredibly low money because everyone wants to get rid of them. I also got one of those, <laughs> uh, which is nice, a nice punching bag, like a real, um, like a human physique body, like gel mold uh, that I can hit. And by the way, from a person that's been hitting a reflex bag for like four years now, a, uh, a punching bag for three years now, well, actually that's probably the same as the reflex bag, but regardless, I've been doing both of those for a very, very long time. Hitting a like, f what is 
what is made to be a, a synthetic human face is and have like a kind of a weird feedback um, because your body has like uh, with twitch fibers so when you get punched your body will kind of recoil in a sense to kind of catch its balance or course correct for the impact um, it's different <laughs> very different like the, the way it, when you hit this gel uh, synthetic gel face mold um, of this punching bag not only does it have like feedback to where it pushes you back because again if you hit someone in the face they're not just gonna go <laughs> they're gonna go and like catch themselves um, and push back a touch um, so I think that's what it's supposed to represent as well as because it it's like it's got features like a nose when you go to punch even if you're bare fisted which I've been practicing iron bone for a good while so I can actually punch the shit out of a, of a, of a taut bag um, that it like you feel the different like kind of capacity on your wrist, which is interesting So I think I'm gonna start doing more kettlebell uh, uh, Wrist exercises so I can hold my, my my wrist form better so I don't like compromise and then fuck my shit up <laughs> somehow um, if That makes any sense I like boxing and the whole exercise development through that not even boxing But like again, I've talked to talk to guys about this many times. I want to get into shit too, but it's, it's a whole fucking mental game regardless <laughs> yes uh, ladies and gentlemen this has been Christmas uh, hello or for me it's Christmas for you maybe happy holidays Hanukkah whatever you would like <laughs> it's fine uh, but 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 last has been this has been lovely again this is another lovely Christmas again last year we had a, a touch of a weird Christmas because we had to rush because of family things but uh, this Christmas was way way better I think hopefully yours was is fruitful joyful and all all the rest <laughs> um, but yes I don't know if I'll make videos like this in the future because yeah I, I don't know I do like clothing quite a bit but I, I like I'm one of those people that like I'm not rolling in money yeah <laughs> so I can only buy like something every now and again and it's usually like two shirts throughout like four months <laughs> so unless I'm like hey guys <laughs> here's a video about two shirts I think it might be a touch of a bust <laughs> but alas when I have the opportunity to show you guys some I don't know some things that I enjoy which is this is definitely one of them um, which is like style uh, Fashion sure, but I don't know fashion again. I feel like has a corruptive take on a lot of people's minds What do they think of like the crazy extreme or like? PewDiePie wearing like a, a, a sweater that's five times too big for him <laughs> You know and I'm like well, you can you can like what you like, but it's not what I enjoy so I'm not gonna comment although <laughs> Not for me uh, regardless, ladies and gentlemen, thank you kindly for your time. You've been nothing shy of lovely. Hopefully, you guys enjoy the rest of your uh, Christmas holiday break, whatever you want. Um, yes, that's about it. Thank you so much for your time. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, and goodbye.